There is a great saying, you don't compare your middle to someone else's ending. Hi, I'm Bernadette Doyle and in this video I want to talk to you about the curse of comparisonitis. So what is comparisonitis? It is when you are comparing yourself or your accomplishments, or your achievements to other people and feeling that you are somehow coming up short. And comparisonitis has the potential to make you downright miserable. In fact, if you've landed on this video, um, there's a very good chance that it's already making you miserable. So I want to share with you a couple of things that can really, really help. So first of all, I think social media has absolutely made comparisonitis more prevalent. It's definitely part of the human con condition um, that we compare ourselves to others. But these days in the airbrush Instagram world, um, it's very easy to look at other people who seem to have it all and then you compare it to your what's going on in your life and somehow feel rubbish. Now, there is a great saying, you don't compare your middle to someone else's ending. <laughs> and one analogy that I've given to my clients is, you know, if you came to the hairdressers when I'm in the middle of getting a haircut, and you took a photograph when I've got wet hair, just as the uh, hairdresser is starting to trim the ends, it doesn't look like the finished product. And the fact of the matter is, if you're comparing yourself to other people, what you're typically seeing is their finished product. And because you're living your life and you're seeing the, the realities of your life up close and personal, it's bound to be that you're, you're gonna fall short in some way. So what you need to remember is this, the only thing that matters is how you are doing compared to yesterday. So are you further along? Now you can measure this in different areas. You can measure are you further along in your health? Are you further along in your relationships? Are you further along in how much you're giving? How much of a contribution? Are you further along in your career? But you can also make a decision every morning that you do want to make some progress in each of those areas of your life. And that is something that you can control. That is something that you can influence. Whereas you can never really control how others are doing alongside you. So if you are suffering from the curse of comparisonitis, it is time to stop putting your attention out there on what other people are up to. That's their journey. It's really got nothing to do with you where you need to focus your attention and energy to have the most impact on your life is what's going on for you. And the only thing to measure or to be concerned about is how you're doing today versus how you were doing yesterday. Because as long as you are making progress and it might only be like a little inch forward, it's still progress. And over the bigger picture, that, that looks like leaps in the long term even though on day by day it may just feel like small progress. So that's where you need to focus your attention. How am I doing versus yesterday? And that's how you cure comparisonitis.